Alrighty, so um, I did want to shine some light on this topic because I think it's very important. So um, what I'm going to do is pretty much post this video on two different channels on YouTube that I run. Um, one of them is jobsre.com and also Juicy Tech Podcast, two different channels that I run here. So uh, listen, what I do want to talk about is this, um, this, this trend that's going on right now on LinkedIn. Now, this is not at all to bash insult or put down link LinkedIn, but I do need to bring this to light because a lot of people are being, um, how should I say it, are um, being affected for the worse um, of this topic or this, what I'm getting ready to say. So here it is. Um, basically, LinkedIn is a great source to find work, right? If you're looking for a career or a career change, if you're looking to network with people or just, you know, be on social media that's um, flooded with a lot of professional and, and individuals, um, LinkedIn is a great, great um, solution to do these things because it's just, they're just great at that, right? So LinkedIn is an awesome place to um, find jobs, careers. It's great, right? Really cool. So with that said, <clears throat> there's some issues especially in today's in today's world in 2023. Now, this is the issue that I'm I've, I've noticed. And some people brought this to my attention as well, where LinkedIn needs to really crack down on the amount of scammers that's on the platform taking or trying to take advantage of people, okay? It's a big problem. I cannot stress to you how many times I've get I've gotten text messages you know, emails from people claiming they follow me on LinkedIn and these people are pretending to be recruiters or HR people, you know, or some kind of re a representative of some of some so-called company and the company has a job opportunity, you know, and they're looking to so-called hire you for that role. This is a real thing, right? There's these fake um, recruiters are trying to scam people. OK, on LinkedIn. And this is very, very common. So to bring this to your attention, maybe you're someone looking for work. Maybe you're looking to work from home re remotely, customer service, maybe software engineering. It doesn't really matter. The, the, the point is these scammers will come at you in whatever way possible because they know what you're looking for. Right. Maybe you're looking for, for example, Web development, so they'll they'll, they'll they'll take that information and um, contact you, pretending to have a position open in that you know um, in in that role, and they're trying to rob you. Now, how do they try to rob you? There's different ways that they, they go by doing this. One 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 of the uh, the most common ways that people are telling me that they're doing this is they are sending people checks, these fake checks, right? The purpose of these fake checks is for you to cash the money or cash the check into your account, right? And then once that, once those funds, those funds, air quotes, once those so-called funds are in your account, that recruiter or that fake recruiter, excuse me, or that scammer, I'll say, that person wants you to buy equipment from his or her vendors, right? These vendors are supposed to be the people that um, have um, these equipments for you to purchase and that's who's going to sell you these equipments with the money that they sent you, the scammer, the check, right? That check or that money is supposed to be used to purchase those equipments from their so-called vendors. Now, they're not vendors. They're all, it's, it, it might be the same person pretending to be a, a, a vendor, but then you go buy these equipments online and it's fake, right? You spend the money, they take it from you and they run away. You just got robbed. There's no equipment to, to be purchased, right? That vendor was a scammer as well. So that's just one of the ways that they're scamming people. A lot of times they'll, they'll send you these fake email links. You click on the link. Now they have access to your account. You have to be very careful. So this is, a, again, I'm not shaming LinkedIn because I think LinkedIn is doing a great job, but they need to really step it up and crack down some more. Because LinkedIn right now is, it is almost like your Instagram and Facebook. It's, it, it is congested. Congested is the word? Or just, 
I'll say in, it's infested in, instead, right? It's, it is infested with scammers. And, and people are getting tricked out of their money. And it's, it's really sad. So just to bring this to your attention, again, maybe if, if you're looking for work, maybe you're desperate. I don't know what your situation but people are trying to take advantage of you. They will contact you in whatever way possible. Sometimes, a lot of time it's through text message, right? Your phone number, they, they, they find it. They, they text you. They pretend that there's a job opportunity available. And um, they claim to have a, they want to do an interview with you. The interview is not a in-person or a video chat. It's a chat interview where they have you go on something like Zoom or Teams and they're chatting with you trying to tell you trying to make it seem like they're recruiters or hr people asking you different questions you know what shift do you want to work right what what shift do you want to work you know day or night uh, how many hours you know pretend to be pretend like they're having a real interview with you but they're trying to just scam you in some way again they might send you they might send you a check because they need you to have the equipment to work from home so Again, that check will be sent to you. You cash it. You pretend, not pretend, but you go and purchase, you know, air, air, air quote, you go purchase the equipment from their vendors. The money that you spent, they will take and run away with it. And now you got scammed. Now your bank wants you to, to return the money back to them because now that check has bounced, right? So now they want their money back. The bank wants their money back. So now there goes your checking account. It gets terminated or now you owe money to your bank be careful now this this sometimes people are are, are are receiving these large sum of money from these people and as a check three thousand four thousand five thousand and they spent all the money right after they cash a check in their account they spend the money and the check bounces and now you owe money back to your bank the money that you spent on whatever the money the, the bank wants their money back. So you have to be vi- be extremely careful out here. It's, it is desperate times right now. I get it. Inflation is going crazy. Rent is out of control for a lot of people. Um, you know, gas prices are not the cheapest nowadays. Um, school loans, maybe you still have your, um, your, 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 your student loan bills. I get it. I understand there's, there's some desperation going on right now, but just be careful with these emails that you're receiving from these scammers and these text messages because I get a lot of people telling me this is happening to them right now. I mean, to this day, I still receive those emails today. Hey, we have this new job opportunity and it's I, I, I know it's fake. To tell how it's fake is if it's an email, all you have to do is see um, the actual email address itself, right? Go on the very top and see and look at the email address, Okay. Look at the at whatever.com. If you see some weird .com, like, not weird, but if it's, if it's like a at gmail.com or at Yahoo, like, like, I mean, those free accounts, basically, it's fake, okay? It is, it is straight up fake. If it, does, if it does look real, if it's like a at info.us or .org, copy and paste that website and see if it's real. Like, do some real research or some some serious investigation to make sure you're not getting played out here because these, these scammers are out here trying to rob a lot of us so yeah check the email make sure it's not from a free account like gmail yahoo or you know uh you, you get it if it, if it if it is one of those emails then it's fake because no legit professional company will use a free account it looks too sketchy anybody can make a free account but for it, for it to come from like a real actual dot com website dot com website it looks better but still check it anyway just see if it's a real website in general do not get played out here this is linkedin if you're watching this i don't know what you need to do but like i said the the app is contaminated with the scammers right now They're, they are in that website or that app and they're trying to scam a lot of people so i bring this to your attention so you can just take take action and maybe you already are but maybe just step it up some more because i still get those messages myself from these scammers and i get people telling me they still get those same text messages or email 
from these terrible people. So take action, please. Um, I like LinkedIn a lot. I use it all the time, but it just sucks that it's just being so. Um, it's 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 being um, what's the word? It's just being so contaminated with scammers. It sucks, right? It really does suck because a lot of people are are being taken advantage of, and it's just it's really sad to watch because people are losing money from these scammers. They think it's a real job, and it's not. It's a freaking horror evil person trying to take your money and ruin your life so be careful out here let me get up out of here much so that you have an awesome day my name is Ario DeJuiced be sure to subscribe to the channel like and share this video share it with people share it with people whom we, whom we need to see this so they're not being they're not victims of this because this is not cool this is not cool at all so yeah do that share like comment I would like to know your thoughts on this video have you been scammed before have you received these emails from these people or text messages I would love to know how you think about this video, how you feel about it, and just kind of go from there. So have a blessed day. Much love to you. Be safe out there. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.